It is in the context of anybody else's sense of what an apology is, not very much of one, the traditional non-apology apology that blames the person who was offended. For the New York Post, Rupert Murdoch, and News Corp, however, it is an extraordinary admission. The New York Post has apologized for that cartoon from Monday's newspaper. In an editorial that is posted already on its website, Wednesday's Page Six cartoon character, uh, caricaturing Monday's police shooting of a chimpanzee in Connecticut has created considerable controversy, the Post writes. It shows two police officers standing over the chimp's body. They'll have to find someone else to write the next stimulus bill, one officer says. It was meant to mock an ineptly written federal stimulus bill, period. But it has been taken as something else, the Post writes, as a depiction of President Obama as a thinly veiled expression of racism. This most certainly was not its intent. To those who were offended by the image, we apologize. However, there are some in the media and in public life who have had differences with the Post in the past, and they see the incident as an opportunity for payback. Uh, by, as an aside, my picture does not appear anywhere near this editorial response from the Post tonight. To them, however, the Post continues, no apology is due. Sometimes a cartoon is just a cartoon, even as the opportunists seek to make it something else. So the New York Post has, in its own fashion, apologized for the Obama chimpanzee cartoon. We happen to have, uh, for another topic, uh, planned to be interviewing Eugene Robinson of the Washington Post, who is in the Washington Bureau with us now and can address uh, as we try to sort through the reaction mm -hmm. to this. Gene, thanks for your time tonight. Oh, good to be here, Keith. Uh, uh, it, it is a non-apology apology. It has that, if you're offended, we're sorry, which is not the point of an apology. But for the right. Post, I mean, this is just, this is, they might as well just, just knock their own building down. Yeah, I mean, for the for the post, this is extraordinary. But I, I I certainly never never expected anything like this from uh, from that newspaper. But it's it's a very odd apology, even if you accept the non apology mm -hmm. form, because he's they're sorry to people who were offended. But if those people who were offended ever had any sort of disagreement with the Post or I guess with the Fox uh, with the, with News Corp then we're not sorry to them um, uh, they you know they can take a hike so um, what if you fall into both categories I guess uh, <laughs> I guess you don't get an apology right none of us could be legitimately upset by that uh, that article right, Al right, Sharpton right, right. could not have been legitimately obviously it is directed at Al Sharpton correct right, I mean, that's course, the, that, it's not yeah, about it it's not it about is. me or somebody like me right. it's about Al Sharpton leading right protest outside mm -hmm. their building around the corner. Right. And so anyone who, who, for example, was offended and joined that protest or, or walked past it and lent support or whatever, I, I guess, uh, you know, too bad you don't get an apology because uh, we're not sorry to you. But we're sorry to those other people if they took offense at this patently <laughs> offensive cartoon that was um, amazing what? to have it's, past an editor's desk in the first place. Well, to that point, it's an interesting uh, event to occur in the context of the interview we had with Michael Wolf, who wrote mm -hmm. this definitive book about Rupert Murdoch, and was uh, in, not in this discussion, but in the previous one, he and I were talking about how Rupert Murdoch has been liberalized by his second wife and has been most sympathetic uh, to President Obama, and the, before him, President-elect Obama, and before him, candidate Obama. There mm -hmm. can be no doubt that it's something of this consequence, which even Michael did not see coming, mm -hmm. must have been directed by Rupert Murdoch and then tamped down a little bit beneath him to throw some sort of snide remark at his critics. That would be my scenario. I would, I would think that uh, an order came from awfully high in, in News Corp, uh, say you're sorry now. Uh, do, it, do it quickly. They didn't want this to get out of hand, and I think they, in this case, is, is probably Rupert Murdoch. Uh, you know, there's, there's another issue, though. How does that get in the paper in the first place? Mm -hmm. and, and I would be curious, I don't know anything about this subject, I'd be curious about, for example, the diversity of the workforce at the, at the New York Post of the, of the, of the editorial staff, and, and, and whose, whose eyes might have seen that cartoon I think that's that's one reason why um, why diversity is a, is, a, is a good thing it, it keeps you out of situations like this uh, sometimes yep. and uh, quickly do you think that's the end of it in terms of the protest or will that continue you know, I'm not sure where it goes from here. I mean, I, yeah, I, I agree with Michael Wolf that, that uh, Al Sharpton won't get anywhere with sort of regulatory uh, actions against uh, Rupert Murdoch. Um, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll just have to digest this extraordinary turn of events. Didn't think it was going to happen. Yes, this just in. The New York Post sort of apologizes. Uh, Gene Robinson <laughs> of The Good Post, The Washington Post and MSNBC. Thank you, Gene. Good to be here, Keith. All right. With that breaking news, that's countdown for this, the 2,000th, 112th day since the previous president declared mission accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.